My name is Rhiannon Nifland and this is my story, Unfiltered. Do I need to change the outfit? Is it a bit... I'm only joking. <laughs> this is the story of a girl from Australia who loves the water more than anything else. I grew up in a small town in Australia, North Wharf, surrounded by the beach and, and living on the lake and just surrounded by a bunch of awesome people that love to surf and love to be adventurous. And I've always been really into sports. I always wanted to play rugby as a girl growing up, but my dad would never let me. <laughs> but thanks to her dad, little Rhiannon found a new sport, diving. I was always a diver growing up and I was competing 10 metre and 3 metre diving for around 10 to 11 years and I kind of felt a little bit burnt out of going to the aquatic centre on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, doing the same thing, the same routine over and over again. So, three years ago, she tried cliff diving and she has become the sport's most decorated athlete ever. Rhiannon Iflam, what a superb athlete. Wow. I'd always followed Rebel Cliff Diving for many years and I thought it was just absolutely amazing and I kind of dreamed to be on the World Series and I never actually pictured that, that I would be there or be on top. Time to celebrate and time to rejoice. And the one on top, Rihanna Nifland of Australia. Three-time Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series women's champion. Whilst I was working on the cruise ship, I saw some guys diving from 17 metres and, and I kind of thought to myself, oh, maybe I could do that. That was when I first decided that I wanted to be a high diver. That was the first dive I knew I was hooked. But never in my wildest dreams did I expect that, that I'd be up there a few months later actually doing it. Sheer brilliance, action-packed, on fire, one of the rookies. But sometimes you need a push in the right direction to find your true path. The first competition that I actually started was a FINA competition in, in Abu Dhabi in 2016. Uh, and I actually completely wiped out and, and came last at that competition by almost 100 points. And following that, I said, I don't want to compete, you know. I don't want to go up there and hurt myself and embarrass myself again. Um, and then a few weeks later, I got an invite from, as a wild card to Red Bull Cliff Diving to the first event in 2016 in, um, in Texas. And my dad was actually taking me to the airport and I was sitting there all miserable in the car, you know, not wanting to go and, and just completely stressed out about it. And I, my dad turned to me and said, oh, what's wrong with you? You're going to Texas, you're going to have an amazing experience, you're going to see these amazing divers dive from, from these heights and you're going to learn and, and just go and enjoy the travel. And I said to him, yeah, well, I'm, I'm not sure I even want to go because I'm petrified <laughs> of diving at that height. My dad turned to me and said, it's only up from here, so just go there and, and have a good time and, and enjoy it. And that's what I did and I, and I started to, to win as, as that season went on and that was something really special. Taking first place, she cannot believe it. Rhiannon Iflam once again, the wild card. Coming up, Trump. The wild card diver wins again. I would describe myself as a uh, Pretty easy going on the outside, um, but when it comes to competing, I'm sometimes a stressed out mess. I'm in love with nature and I'm, I'm in love with, with exploring and, and water sports and just anything that's exciting. As part of the lead up to the 2019 season, Ifland traveled to South Africa for some exploring with seven time champion, Gary Hunt. I've been diving for almost 20 years now and I'm so passionate about diving but I'm also so passionate about travelling and exploring new locations and I think travelling to these new places is something that really lit up my passion for diving again. When I finished competing um, platform diving, you know, I was a little bit burnt out but now coming to these locations really makes all the, the years of hard work pay off. Ifland is very passionate about her sport 
but sometimes that can be difficult to put into words. What drives me? Um, I don't know. Hang on, let me think about that one. But now, season four is about to start. Time to renew and reset. I've achieved a lot in three years and I think I am a little bit afraid of the pressure because it's not a nice feeling leading into each competition going in knowing you have that pressure and, and knowing that the other girls are stepping up too is, is quite challenging but a bit of healthy competition is what drives me and, and what pushes me to, to be the best diver I can be so I think it is a negative but it's a positive at the same time. Rhiannon Ifland, 17 World Series starts for 15 podiums, 11 of them wins, and she's still hungry. The ultimate goal is the fourth world title for this year, but I think it's very important for myself to set um, small goals along the way, um, just to make that, that ultimate goal more realistic in achieving it. You don't always need a plan. Sometimes you just need to enjoy your life. Trust, let go and see what happens. The three-time World Series champion is ready to defend her title and rewrite history once again. The 2019 season will start in the cliff diving paradise of the Philippines. Next time on Rhiannon Ifland Unfiltered, Episode 2, Travel for Life.